There's absolutely no doubt that the Xperia Z1 is a flagship. It screams premium from the instant you lay your eyes and hands on it. It is as snappy as an Android phone can get today. It is water and dustproof and, according to Sony, it packs, quote, the world's leading camera in a smartphone. When you manage to pack all of that in a glass and aluminum build, at least on paper, you got a perfect recipe for an irresistible phone. How much difference is there between word on paper and reality? We're checking all of that out right now. This is our full review of the Sony Xperia Z1. Before we proceed, we want to thank our friends at clove.co.uk for supplying us with this retail review unit, which landed at our doorstep on September 20th, giving us enough time to spend more than a week with the phone exclusively as our daily driver. We got the chance to know all of its pros, cons, quirks, and hidden aces up its sleeve. We've not only got the pleasure of using the Xperia Z1, but we also compared it to other Android and Windows phone devices, flagships and popular phones or not, like the Galaxy S4, HTC One and Lumia 925. We've also learned a lot, like for instance that the Xperia Z1 is a device which gets as close as a phone can get to the premium and exceptional in-hand feel of the HTC One. Simply put, the Z1 is a jewel. Sony used a single piece aluminum frame to build the Xperia Z1 and the entire front and back are taken up by a single sheet each of tempered glass. The phone feels sturdy, well built and gives you confidence that it would definitely put up a decent fight against scratches, granted you don't abuse it with a knife, screwdriver or scalpel. The free flaps for SIM, microSD and microUSB port is the price you'll have to pay for the water and dustproof construction, but Sony managed to microcoat the headphone jack. One flap less on the Xperia Z1. And since we mentioned waterproofing, its IP ratings allow submersions of 1.5 meters of fresh water, up to 30 minutes. The dedicated camera key, which we believe should be a standard on any and every phone, enables you to snap underwater pictures even if the screen is not usable. There are no buttons on the front, which is, in its entirety, made out of glass. From right to left, on the top of the device, you'll find a 2 megapixel front facer, earpiece, notification light, Sony branding, as well as the usual proximity and ambient light sensors. Beneath all of that, there's a 5-inch Full HD screen with Sony's own triluminous technology as well as X-Reality engine. For those who don't want to do the math, this resolution and size results in a PPI rating of 441. Android buttons are missing, as there are no physical nor capacitive things to push and touch on the device's front. Instead, Sony opted for on-screen buttons for multitasking, home and back. The other single sheet of glass can be found on the back. That's where your 20.7 megapixel camera with the G-Lens lives, underneath which you'll find a single LED flash, NFC logo showing the exact contact point, as well as the Sony and Xperia branding, should you forget what phone it is that you're holding, or in case you want, or Sony wants, to show it off. The bottom holds the speaker grill, a microphone, as well as a lanyard hole, while the left side is where you'll find the micro USB port and the micro SD card slot, both covered with the flaps meant to keep water and dust out of the Z1. There's also a magnetic dock connector should you prefer an accessory. The 3.5mm headphone jack at the top is thankfully missing a flap, which is not the case for the SIM card slot on the right. Further down, there's your power button, volume rockers, as well as the dedicated two-stage camera button to focus and release the shutter. It also just so happens that it finally wakes the phone up from sleep, unlike other devices equipped with a similar hardware solution from other manufacturers. Under the glass, as we mentioned, there's a 5-inch Full HD display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor clocking at 2.2 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage expandable via microSD, a 20.7 megapixel main camera on the back with a 2 megapixel webcam on the front, 3000 mAh battery, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean on top of everything. Other specs include Wi Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, as well as a 3G and LTE capable radio. Android 4.2.2 with Sony's own UI is what operates on the Xperia Z1. Thanks to Google's tweaks to the OS over time, as well as the powerhouse specs under the hood of the Z1, the phone is as snappy as a flagship Android phone can get in the second half of 2013. Those familiar with the Xperia Z, or other phones from Sony's lineup, will feel at home using the Z1. Those new to the phone will have no problem getting used to the custom user interface. Sony decided to keep its on-screen button usage instead of going with a physical or beneath-the-screen capacitive solution. 
Of course, Google Now is in, but the notification shade has been changed completely. Despite the user's ability to modify the shortcuts and toggles present, it is nowhere near stock. Home screens and widgets are fluid, as you can always use one of the built-in device themes to further customize your device. They'll change wallpaper as well as the accent color throughout the entire system. A selection of small applications, windowed apps running on top of everything, can be used to multitask if that's your cup of tea. Then there are the bundled Sony applications like Track ID for audio and TV, PlayStation Mobile, Music and Video Unlimited, offerings which enrich your experience and instantly welcome you to the Sony ecosystem. However, some of these might not be available in your region. The Album application has a neat way of displaying more or less image thumbnails, and the camera app allows the user to make a couple of tweaks, interestingly, in the auto mode. Superior Auto, Manual, Time Shift Burst, Picture Effects, Sweep Panorama, AR Effects, Social Live, and Info Eye are the available options. Superior Auto will produce 8 megapixel images, and the software does a great job at identifying the scene you are currently shooting in, adjusting the settings accordingly. The manual mode is poor. Of course, you can select the scenes yourselves, but that's only available in 8 megapixel output mode. Once you try to capture stills in the maximum 20 megapixel mode, you are limited to only being able to set exposure and white balance, which kind of kills the manual mode for us. Time Shift Burst is Sony's main camera feature, or at least that's what friendly reps emphasized most on at the introduction in Berlin at IFA. It allows capturing 61 frames in 2 seconds, starting before pressing the shutter button. You are then presented with the frames, and you can select the best after scrolling through them. Of course, you can also keep all of them. And then there are the other modes, like Social Live, with which you can broadcast video to your friends on Facebook, a Google Goggles-like info eye mode, special panorama shooting mode, though you have to be quick at moving the phone rather steadily, and an augmented reality mode to overlay funny objects on your stills. There's also a picture effect mode that applies special effects in real time, though the selection is not exhaustive. Whether it's the sensor or the software which produces a great amount of noise is beyond us. We sure hope Sony can further improve the camera with future updates because shooting in conditions other than perfect immediately generates a lot of noise. That noise is not only present in 20 megapixel shots, but also in the 8 megapixel output range as well. Low light sensitivity is good, though results will vary. They're usually a hit or miss, and when you manage to snap a frame, the output will be lacking detail. However, it will not lack noise. We are more satisfied with the video capturing capabilities of the phone than with its picture taking ones. We'll play the sample for you so that you see exactly what we're talking about. We hey everyone, this is Tony from Pocket Now, and we are in the same place, but it's a different side of the park. We are checking out the Sony Xperia Z1 and putting it against the Nokia Lumia 925. We are recording HD video, which is full HD. The Xperia Z1 just uh, lagged a bit for a second there, but hope it's just on the screen and not in the final video. We're gonna go against the sun here, people walking by. Let's see how these two cope with changing uh, lighting conditions. And uh, we'll try to uh, move in for a close-up on the leaves here on the ground. Stand there a bit, just to see if uh, they both manage to cope. There. And back again, and there's some uh, movement action. And get back to where we started from. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. We've used the Xperia Z1 over the course of 10 days. We did not run into major problems with the phone or its software, and using it exclusively as our daily driver, we didn't manage to bog it down. However, we did see some occasional stutters and lags, something which Sony could easily fix with further software tuning and optimization. After all, we are looking at a very powerful phone specs-wise. With our regular usage, we got more than a day's worth of battery life out of the 3000 mAh pack, which is powering the phone. We're talking about phone calls, text messages, social media on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, taking pictures, browsing the web, instant messaging, Google Maps, YouTube videos, Spotify music, and even workout tracking. You will definitely get at least one day's worth of action of the Z1, given you don't abuse the camera, which you'll probably well, do in the first couple of days of usage anyways. Sony proudly claims the Z1 has the world's leading camera in a smartphone. Our findings are different. We are not saying that it's a bad shooter, we are just saying that you need to test it out for yourselves and don't take anyone's word for it. This is of course valid for every manufacturer. It is now time to draw our conclusion. We definitely recommend this phone. It is a very powerful device and Sony's best phone yet. Needless to say that the Z1 is part of the elite group of top Android phones alongside the Samsung Galaxy S4, HTC One, LG G2 and the others. 
Build quality is exceptional, waterproofing and dustproofing are welcome additions for those looking for such features. And the overall feeling you get while you hold or use the device is that you're operating a premium product. The weakest point, in our opinion, is the camera, and we hope Sony can improve it in the future. The display is much improved over the previous Sony models and offers good results when viewed straight on. However, the viewing angles are still not good, side visibility is poor, and color is washed out. Because of all the aforementioned, we are rating the Xperia Z1 a 9.1 out of 10. Folks, as always, subscribe to Pocket Now on social media to be among the first ones to find out when a video or text piece is published. Of course, you can also follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter. I've been Anton D. Knight. If you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with your own thoughts on the Xperia Z1. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, stay safe.